Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mina. Oh, I do some tech videos, some tutorials, Java, Rust, and the whole nine yards. All right, today we are gonna talk about the latest entrant in the AI race or in the AI world. It's Gemini. It's from Google. What it is, let me tell you in a short video. What's this AI about? Gemini is a cutting edge multi model AI model. Announced by Google on December 6th, just yesterday, if you're listening to the video today, but it was on December 6th. That's why it's the latest entrant, right? It's the most capable general purpose AI to date. Okay, it's a significant, significant leap forward in the AI technology. Generally, when you talk about AI models, you have large language models, which work only on languages. Then you have uh, some models, which are uh, mostly focusing on the image analysis, which is like the MNIST data set, which we use when we learn AI and all. This combines the best of both worlds. You can search on image combined with text. It's revolutionary. It's built that way. It's not so generally what happens is um, when we have to do combined search of image and uh, text, it's generally we do independent searches first and then try to link together. But this supports ground up. Okay. It, so it combines not only text but it, and images, it combines text, code, audio, image, and video. Imagine the capability. Comes in three varieties. Ultra, the largest and the most capable for highly complex tasks. I wonder what the investment companies are gonna do with this Ultra. They can afford this, right? Or maybe the, or maybe NASA or those organizations which can afford the Ultra. Gemini Pro for scaling across wide range of tasks. This could be uh, all the mid to, um, what do you call it? The Fortune 500 companies, the mid-level companies, many will go for the pro. And then there's the nano for on-device tasks. So if you want to develop an app, which is powered by AI and all, or um, an app for a tablet, anything, okay? So for that, it is nano. What are its capabilities? As I talked earlier, multi-modality, right? Understands and processes diverse form for information. It understands text, images, video, audio, and even emojis, right? Imagine how you can how you can use it, right? Improved accuracy and fluency. So compared to the previous models, Gemini generates more natural and human-like text, which has more emotions, right? Okay. And what else? Its general purpose isn't limited to any specific purpose like image search or just uh, some uh, text. It's designed to be adaptable and versatile. Scalability, it's built to handle massive data volumes and process information efficiently across devices and platforms. From smartphones to data centers. Imagine the scalability, right? usability with its advanced what are the different applications where you can use these are just what do you call um a grain in a salt in a pile of salt right it's just a grain in a pile of salt just it can be used like almost anywhere everywhere right Enhanced search, which is obviously there because it supports both text and images. Content creation. This is very important, right? It can generate creative content with its text becoming more human-like, more emotions attached to it. You can create forms, you can create scripts, musical pieces, everything. It can understand the nuances of human language and translate ideas into different creative forms. Aiding artists, writers, designers. 
scientific discovery and research and discovery, right? It can analyze complex scientific data, identify patterns, hypotheses, you say what, like anywhere and everywhere. The applicability is there. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I also wanted to mention, especially about alpha code two. This is code generating AI powered by Gemini. Now you can generate code in any of these languages, complex programming, Python, Java, C++, and Go. Imagine what Alpha could, could do to your jobs, right? Now, instead of hiring 10 programmers, somebody could hire one or two and get away with it, right? So programmers out there, watch out. Again, multimodality, since it's powered by Gemini, <clears throat> it can also understand and process information from diverse sources. Like you can give it a problem statement, like in a text, images or code snippets, and it'll tackle, it'll generate uh, a complex program for you. I'm gonna show you just one example of it, alpha code, not alpha code two, but alpha code. <clears throat> okay, alpha code two demonstrates significantly better performance and has outscored estimate 85 percent of competitors oh my goodness policy models utilize a family of policy models that generate different code samples for each province clustering filtering it employs all the clustering algorithms semantically similar codes preventing redundancies and focusing on promising solutions oh my god now I'm worried about my job. Luckily, it's not available today. Limited access as of December 7th. Uh, direct access, it's still limited. But developers can access it starting December 13th. They will be able to access the Gemini Pro through Google Cloud API and experiment it with Google AI Studio, which is not coming on 13, which is coming soon. Okay, I can't wait for it. Future integrations, <clears throat> Google plans to progressively integrate Gemini into various products and services, making it power more accessible to wider audience over time. Now, before I let you go, you have to watch this video. It'll make clear First, this video. If I were to look at the foundational breakthroughs in AI over the past decade, Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. So not just text, but also code, audio, image, and video. Taylor used Gemini to search a large corpus of scientific papers for key information. We wrote a prompt. With its advanced reasoning capabilities, Gemini was able to distinguish between papers that were relevant to the study and those that weren't. I'm delighted to introduce Africa 2, powered by Gemini. When we evaluate Africa 2 on the same platform as the original Africa code, we solve almost twice as many problems. Gemini on its own has the ability to transform software development as we understand it. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. But safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning. And that has oriented us to be both bold and responsible together. Developers and enterprise customers are going to figure out really creative ways to further refine our foundational models. Gemini will be available in three sizes. Gemini Ultra, our most capable and largest model for highly complex tasks. Gemini Pro, our best performing model for a broad range of tasks. And Gemini Nano, our most efficient model for on-device tasks. It's been a monumental engineering task, which has been you know, very challenging, but also very exciting. All right. That was it about we Gemini. We Gemini from the ground up to be natively multimodal, including it's something quite important one. for both of us, programming code. Yeah, it automatically, Gemini, turned on. 
<laughs> automatically Gemini turned on the next video. No, I'm just kidding. It's not Gemini. It's YouTube, which is again Google. But any anyways, hopefully you have some more information, some more knowledge about Gemini. I can't wait until December 13th. Can you? And let's learn and see some powerful AI code starting December 13th, if we can, using Gemini. All right, that is all. Thank you all for listening and your time. See you all again in the next lecture. Bye.